The spleen is attached to the greater curvature of the stomach and the left kidney by the gastrosplenic and leonardal ligaments, respectively. The gallbladder can be divided into a fundus, body, and neck. The stomach has two borders, called the lesser and greater curvatures. Between the two curvatures is the largest portion of the stomach, termed the body. On the superior surface of the body is a rounded surface, called the fundus. The renal medulla consists of segments called renal pyramids that radiate from the renal sinus. The striated appearing pyramids contain the loops of henal and collecting tubules in function as the beginning of the collecting system. The pancreas has both an endocrine, insulin, glucagon, and exocrine, digestive enzymes, function. The major vessel of this system is the portal vein, which is formed in the retroperitoneum by the union of the superior mesenteric and splenic veins, posterior to the neck of the pancreas at the portal splenic confluence. The pancreas can be divided into the head, uncinate process, neck, body, and tail. The liver is a large, complex organ with numerous functions, which include metabolic and hematologic regulation and bile production. The peritoneal cavity includes the greater sac and lesser sac, omental percy. The greater sac is located between the inner surface of the anterior abdominal wall and the outer surface of the abdominal viscera. It is bounded by the parietal and visceral peritoneum, and it communicates with the lesser sac through the epiploic foramen of Winslow. The hilum of the liver, the porta hepatis, is located on the inferomedial border of the liver. It is the central location for vessels to enter and exit the liver. The spleen is a highly vascular organ that functions to produce white blood cells, filter abnormal blood cells from the blood, store iron from red blood cells, RBC. Each adrenal gland has an outer cortex and an inner medulla, which function independently.